In this tutorial, we will be using Bright Author Connected to build a multi-zone presentation containing a playlist of videos and a series of images. In a multi-zone presentation, specified regions of the screen display various types of content simultaneously. First, start a new presentation from the dashboard or menu. It's easy to make a multi-zone presentation from scratch but select one of the two zone presentation templates to get a head start. Once you have titled, selected your player model, resolution, frame rate, and orientation, go ahead and press start. In this presentation, the frame is divided into two parts, a video or image zone and an image zone. The best way to design content is to match your zone size to your content dimensions. This minimizes the amount of processing a player needs to do, but there is a built-in scaler that will resize video and images as needed. In Bright Author Connected, you can adjust the scaling type separately for both images and videos. The scaler will change the dimensions of your content by either adding margins, enlarging, or stretching content to fill the space. On the left is your library where you can see your content either stored locally or over bsn.cloud. And on the right is your properties panel where you can select zones, make changes to your presentation, and set zone properties. To add content, double click on the zone or single click to select the zone and navigate to the content tab that you want to edit. In addition, you can select a zone from the drop-down list in the navigator or by clicking on the graphic of your presentation. Bright Author Connected will automatically limit the number of video zones in a presentation based on the player model. Then in the library, select the folder where your media is stored. Your content will either be available from local files or network files depending on how you set up your presentation. After you've selected a folder that contains media, you'll see thumbnail icons of usable assets at the bottom of the screen. You can simply drag and drop videos and images into the content tab of this zone. Next, navigate back to the layout and select the image zone. Similarly, you will see thumbnails of supported image files at the bottom of your screen. Just drag and drop images into your playlist to create a slideshow. Now select a photo and under state properties, you can choose a transition and duration for the transition. If you select the timeout event icon next to the image, you can change the event properties to specify the amount of time the image will appear on the screen. At its foundation, Bright Author presentations are programs that are composed of what are called states and events. Basically, a state is the content that you see on the screen and an event is the trigger that causes the player to transition to a new state. In this animation, the hand represents the event and the kinetic balls represent the state. Each event triggers a state to cycle through its routine. In the image zone of the presentation, the initial state is the first photo displayed on the screen and the event that causes it to change to the next photo is called a timeout event, which triggers the next photo to appear on the screen after a specified duration. Now save and schedule the presentation. By default, the presentation will play all day today. In the published tutorial, you scheduled a presentation to run on weekdays. Let's schedule this presentation to play indefinitely on weekends from eight to five. Thanks for watching this tutorial on multi-zone presentations. The following tutorials cover how to add various types of media to your presentations, including HTML, text tickers, and the date and time. Follow along in this series or skip to the media type you want to learn about next.